Harrow, one of the most famous and influential public schools in the world. Over 400 years old, steeped in history, synonymous with wealth and privilege. But what's it like to go there? Across a school year, we follow the boys of Westacre, one of Harrow's 12 boarding houses, to discover what it takes to make a modern-day Harrovian. Today, it's the new boys. The best of luck for what the future holds here at Harrow. I wish you well with it. Adjusting to their new surroundings. When you walk past a teacher, you need to, you need to see what's called clapping. Okay, you, you'll get in trouble if you don't do that. Adapting to life away from their families. Oh, I hated it when I first came, I really did. <laughs> and getting to know an entirely new one. Get off! Get off! <laughs> get off! Welcome to Harrow. You know what my daughter said about my haircut last night? She What's said that? I look like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> I didn't oh. think that was very nice. <laughs> Everybody should have children, yes. <laughs> Keeps you intact. This is Westacre, one of Harrow's 12 boarding houses. And Martin Smith is its veteran housemaster. Keys, that's keys, that's good. Normally speaking, you do 12 years in a house, uh, and this is my 12th year, so I've got one more year to run uh, in Westacre. Um, so it's a big year for me in many respects. <laughs> it's early September, and Martin, like the rest of Harrow's 500 staff, is preparing for an invasion. Tomorrow we're expecting 900 boys to come back from their holidays. Everything goes mental, really. Harrow was first established in 1572 to provide a classical education to 30 poor boys of the parish. Today, with parents paying school fees in excess of £30,000 a year, very few of the boys would be considered poor. Tomorrow night, I should think it will be bedlam in here once all the boys have come back. I can't find this, I can't find that. The difference, I suppose, between a boarding house and a family is that a family might have one, two, three children, um, but we're a family with, in this case this year, with 66 children. It's all right, Tara, you take it easy. You take it easy, yes. If Martin's the surrogate father in the Westacre family... Right. Come, guys. Matron Kate Bain is the matriarch. OK. What I'd like, you've got a list now of people whose duvets they belong to. So if you start, OK, down that end, and I'll start from this end. OK, what I want you to do is put a chocolate on each pillow when you're done. OK? Well, I've been matron here at Westacre for two years now. It's mostly looking after um, the boys within the house. It's looking after the house and making sure that they have everything that they need. There we are. You do get emotionally attached to them, which is lovely. Um, you do get to see some of the lovely things that they do um, because inevitably you're, you're here all of the time. So yes, you do bond with them. This year, Westacre is expecting 14 new boys who, in one of many unique Harrow traditions, are known as shells. It's both an exciting time and a slightly scary time in a way. <laughs> the peace of the boarding house is about to be shattered. Today, Harrow is a global brand, selling traditional English education to families around the world. How do you get in? Students come from as far away as China, America and Russia. 13-year-old Dylan is from Malawi in southern Africa. It all happens pretty quickly, but it's a pretty, pretty daunting experience. 
You're not too far up yet. But... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Perhaps less exotically, Sachin and his family are from Leicester. No, I'm really, really, really proud of my younger brother, Sachin, and um, Anisha and I will have to get over missing him. Yes, so yes we, just, we will. Yeah. Good luck. We'll, yes. Thanks. And learn how to comb your hair on your own. Tuck your shirt. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I've never boarded before, so it was something which, I, which was completely new, and I sort of jumped into the blue a bit with coming into Harrow. Like Sachin, most of the boys are used to living with their parents. I'm about to send the boys one way and the parents the other, so this is a bit of an emotional moment. So. <laughs> Saying goodbye is always difficult, even for those who live in London, like Ollie and his family. Over the summer, it never really, always seems so far away. Parents leaving was quite, quite emotional. It's like a sudden shock to the system. You're basically saying goodbye to like your parents, as well as saying hello to like your new family and things. And you meet the boys who you're going to spend the next five years of your life with. And it's a big family. As the older boys arrive, the shells can look forward to their first night at Harrow, surrounded by strangers in an unfamiliar house. So all these folders with Harrow written on all of them, probably. Yeah, just so like that. Put that in here. We get a chocolate on the bed, which is the best thing in a uh, Best thing in Harrow, definitely. Midnight snack. And now that's the bell, so we have to go down for bill, which is basically the fancy word for register. So, bye. As in all boarding houses at Harrow, West Acrians must attend bill or registration three times a day. Being the youngest, shells sit on the floor. All uh, right, gentlemen, uh, shall we make a start then, please? Thank you. Um, first of all, welcome back. Uh, particularly welcome, of course, to our new shells. My stomach was churning, churning, churning. And I just remember seeing loads of people, people who I've never met, and I was just so shocked that it was the first taste, really, of how Harrow's going to be. For the Shells, learning to live together at Westacre is just the beginning. We're done. It's the official start of term, and wearing their brand new bluers and greyers, not forgetting the famous Harrow Boater, the Westacre Shells venture out to their first school assembly. Over the centuries, the historic speech room has hosted kings, queens and prime ministers. Today it's just the headmaster. Welcome back, and a particular welcome to all new boys. Hope you've all had an excellent summer, and hope all new pupils settle in quickly and feel part of Harrow. I'm sure you will. The first day was pretty scary, and so all the other boys are just ahead of you. Some of the pretty big lads here. Yeah, you're just you're born with a food chain. Time passes quickly. Let's seize every moment to learn from one another, from the beaks, and to take all the opportunities that are put in front of us. Have a great term. It's uh, quite scary.
I am a bit of a... TV 100.